I'm Mark Allen, Mr. Saltwater Tank. Come and tell me half of saltwateraquarium.com. We're taking a first look at the Neptune Systems Trident NP. NP for nitrates and phosphates. The first thing that came to mind when I heard about the NP was, okay, now we have a automated tester for nitrates and phosphates. Why do we need that when you could argue with a lot of validity that alkalinity is a more important tank parameter than nitrates or phosphates? Number one, reefers are human beings and human beings by nature tend to be lazy. So the idea that we can have a machine do the testing for us and report results, most people are gonna be interested in that. I can't tell you how many times I've been talking to someone about their tank and I say, well, what are your nitrates and phosphate levels? And they go, well, I don't know, I haven't tested for that in forever. Even though you can run both of those tests very easily within five minutes, reefers still don't do it very frequently. So they did, we have a machine to do the work for us and report results. A lot of people are gonna be interested in that. Another good reason to have an automated nitrate and phosphate tester is it lets you spot trends in your tank. You could say, look, yeah, but I could test my tank every couple hours a day. Yeah, right, okay, whatever. How many people are gonna do that? Not that often, most of us don't have that kind of time in the day. So the machine, the NP will log those results, it'll test and then log those results and then you can dive into the data and spot trends. If you don't test, you don't <laughs> grab the results, you don't log the results, then analyze them, you're never gonna be able to spot trends in your tank. So we're testing nitrates, we're testing phosphates. What kind of trends would I be looking for? Well, a couple of them. One, if all of a sudden your nitrate and phosphate levels go up, something could be going off in your tank. Maybe a piece of filtration goes down or something has died in your tank and you have to then go find it. You're out of town, you're looking at your results because let's face it, when reefers go out of town, they have a controller on the tank, they go check the thing and they probably check it several times a day, maybe even more than Instagram. So you check your results, you go, hang on a minute, nitrates and phosphates or one of the other is rising, hmm, maybe something's died. Let's go tell the tank sitter to have a look and find out. Also, it can be a little insight into if your tank sitter's doing their job. If all of a sudden nitrates and phosphate levels drop, you could go, hmm, I wonder if the fish are really getting fed. But if we're not testing these things, logging the results, and then analyzing these results, you're never gonna know that these kind of things are happening. And who knows what else kind of trends we can spot in our tank because we now have an automated nitrate and phosphate tester. I can look at my alkalinity levels during the day now that I have the trident, the regular trident. I can take those results and go, oh, look, all of a sudden my alkalinity is rising. Something's probably off in my tank. I bet I can then go look at the tank and maybe find a coral bleaching, something looking stressed. But until I had the data, I would never know it. So now that we have the NP, I'm curious to see what kind of trends I can spot in my tank. I'll report back to you about that in a future video. Before we go any further, let's keep these things in mind. You don't have to have any kind of automated tester to have a successful saltwater aquarium. So as you're watching this video, if you're a new reefer, you might like the NP and go, I would like to have one of those, great. Don't get caught up in thinking, oh, if I don't have this, my tank's never gonna be successful. Okay, enough of that. Let's go jump into this thing and have a look at it. First thing to notice about the NP is it's got the exact same footprint as the alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium trident. The cases are just a different color. The NP is black, or they call it a dark gray, and this is a lighter gray. Okay, but the connections on the back are the exact same, tubes are the exact same, comes with a one link cable, comes with the tubes, and a clip to hold the sample line in your sump, which I'm a big fan of. So if you're thinking about how you're gonna mount these things, if you can mount the regular trident, then you can mount the NP because the footprint is exactly the same. Like the calcium alkalinity and magnesium trident, the trident NP requires the A2 or A3 apex brain. That's the silver and gray one that looks like this. So if you have the old apex brain that has a black label on it, it's long and skinny, you're gonna need to upgrade to the A2 or the A3 to get your NP trident and even your alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium trident to work on your system. Here's something different about the trident NP. It comes with a drip tray. You could also use this to mount it. In reality, it's got some nice divots here for the feet of the trident to fit in. It's got a hole cut out in the back so you can put your leak detector down in here. If for some reason the trident leaks, it's gonna leak down into the tray and your leak detector would detect that leak and let you know if you had it set up properly. So drip tray is kind of interesting. I like that it's black, 
or dark gray, just like the Trident NP. I'm curious if the alkalinity, calcium, magnesium Tridents, the latest ones, also come with a drip tray now as well. I'll have to report back to you on that one, but that did jump out on me as the drip tray is now in the box. Here's where things start to get interesting with the Trident NP. It comes with the same bottles of reagent like you would find with the alkalinity, calcium, magnesium Trident, but this one is a waste neutralizer that also has this little bottle and says, see video and includes an examination glass. I'm 45, don't need to see that. Okay, so I'm used to just putting the waste out of the Trident down the drain or I put it in into a container if I don't have an available drain, but now they say it needs to be neutralized, so out goes the drain idea. So I've got to be careful with the container as well. Not a make it or break it with me, something that I noticed. I'll report back on my feedback on that as I start to use the Trident NP, but that did jump out of me in the box and wanted to point it out to you again. The Trident NP does come with a calibration solution bottle, but you notice there's no values written on here, like with the alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium Trident. The values are known, so there's no data entry needed for the calibration. The setup of the Trident NP is done through the Trident NP initial setup task, which walks you through each step of the setup process and includes video instructions as well. Speaking of video, the setup video instructs you to wait 25 minutes for Rage and 3 to be ready to go, so don't get in a rush to set up the Trident NP. The setup video also has a big disclaimer about using a glass or number two container for the waste. The video goes on to warn that the waste should be kept away from small children and pets. Between the included waste neutralizer and the disclaimer about the requirements of the waste container, the waste out of the Trident NP isn't something that you should mess around with or take lightly. Okay, point taken, and I had plenty of number two bottles with lids hanging around from old dosing reagents. Last up is to confirm that it's been 25 minutes since reagent three was mixed, and then it's test time. Now I'm gonna run at least a week of tests to compare the data versus some test kits, so I'll be back to discuss what I find after this thing's been up and rolling for a bit. Mm -hmm. 